values in Turkey, like democracy, human rights, press freedom, freedom of expression, secularism, etc. And Erdogan is the one who against all of those uh, ideals. And so we've been struggling with such a guy and seeing Europe behind him is very disappointing for us, unfortunately. And, and in that view, what does it mean to receive a prize like this? And what does it mean for President Erdogan? Well, it's, it's a kind of answer to his policies, really. And uh, I told this, this criticism for the European leaders, but for, for European press, uh, they've been very interested in, in our uh, case and they've been very supportive and the, this international solidarity was so important that uh, it's because of that I'm a free man today, really. And I just want to thank you for this solidarity and please keep on supporting the, uh, the journalists uh, in Turkish prisons. And we have many, uh, we have three, 33 journalists still in the prison. So they're not so famous as we are. Um, so they need protection. And for there are many freedom fighters uh, very in a very fragile positions and need your help and support. And please keep on supporting the freedom of expression. Thank, thank you for this, and I know you have prepared some words that you would like to say. Yeah, would it be? Yes, uh, maybe you would like to stand up okay. here. Uh, dear guests, Cumhuriyet, the newspaper that I am in charge of, is the oldest one in Turkey. 92 years old, but forever oppositional pushing forwards, brave, independent, and young. It's a newspaper that lives up to its honorable age. This is a newspaper that several times has been exposed to bombings, threats, prohibitions to publish, censorship, and prosecution. But the most serious of all is that six of the newspaper's writers have lost their lives in political attacks during the last 40 years. In the entrance of Cumhuriyet, we who work there walk past photos and newspaper articles with the stories of our murdered writers, persons who lost their lives because of what they wrote and because of their investigative reporting. In other words, we salute them every day and continue their struggle, a struggle that often meet violent resistance. When I was informed that the Swedish National Press Club's press, uh, prize in memory of Anna Poliskovskaya would be presented to Erdem Gül and me, I immediately came to think of our lost heroes and their pictures that every day see us pass them in the entrance. The road has taken us all the way to this prize in Stockholm, a prize that belongs to them, to Anna Poliskovskaya and to all who have had a pay, a high price, to ensure that freedom of expression will prevail. Being a journalist and writer who only 10 days ago by chance escaped bullets meant to silence me, I promise you to be faithful to the memory of them all and never to make confessions in the effort to present the truth to the public. I promise to keep on defending the honor of the pen until my last breath. This prize is strong answer to the weapons being aimed at us and also a great support for our fight for freedom of expression. I thank you so much for this support. I will try to live up to it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, 
I would like to congratulate both of you. And uh, after this, we will have a debate on the freedom of expression in Europe. And uh, the Swedish uh, foreign minister, Margot Wallström, will participate. And uh, just uh, as Björn asked Britt Marie Matson if she had any special question for her, I also ask you if you have a question or something you would like to pass on to her. Well, I just want to uh, know her views about the position of the European Union uh, about this debate about Turkey and this this agreement that I called shameful. What does she think about that? And what will be the future of this agreement if the Erdogan government will uh, will carry on like that? That's that would be my answer. My question. I'm sure Bjorn Hager will uh, will ask her uh, during the debate. Okay. Thank you very much and congratulations. And I think we will give them both a round of applause.